What's going on everybody? This is Keaton with 924 Photography and in this video I'm going to show you how to replace the sky by using Luminar 4. So let's get started right now. So right here we have an image of Carmen. She did amazing out there. It was hot and windy. So if we zoom in and zoom out of this image, this background looks pretty good. We can bring this back in post, but we're going to take it a step further. So what you want to do is go to your right hand side. You want to make a background copy. This is so if we mess up, we can just delete it and start over and we can make edits on top of this. So you want to go up here to filter uh, Luminar 4 software and then you want to click on Luminar. All right, this process is going to take just a little bit to open up, but once it does, I'm going to show you where the magic happens at. So if you would like to purchase this product, you can go to the link in the description uh, on my B&H. This helps me help you. We are here in Luminar. I'm going to make the screen bigger real quick so you can see. You have so many tabs in here. You can use Luminar to replace the sky, do edits, dodge and burn and all that kind of stuff. But we want to go over to our right hand side to creative. We want to go to AI sky replacement and we want to go to sky selection. Now they have all these skies here that you can choose and you can upload your other ones if you need to. So we're just going to go through here and see which one we like the best. Oh, that looks good. I like that one a lot. I think it works. Okay. But have no fear. I know you like, man, this is ugly, Kedron. Man, this ain't going to work. I promise you once we're done, you're going to be replacing skies so easy. Okay. So I think uh, we're going to try another one here. No. Oh, no, no. That's too much. Too much. Too much. All right. I think we're going to go back to uh, dramatic. Nope. We're going to go to mm, blue sky four, I think. Yeah, that's it. I like that one right there. Okay. So you have so many functions in here. You can do a horizon blend where you can blend it to where it is blending with the horizon. The key to this luminar is you want to make sure because it's makes messing with the lum luminosity. So you want to make sure that your sky is bright enough so it can grab everything inside the sky. You can change your uh, horizon position. You can relight the, the whole source and you can do a sky global. So just play with all these tabs, see what works for you. And then, you know, you will be uh, good from that point. Check that out. Man, this guy global, man. You can just move it around and just make it so much better. I mean, this thing is so easy to use. So now we want to go to advanced settings. We're in advanced. We're going to close the gap. Sometime when you close the gap, it'll go over the face. But that's why we made the extra background layer in Photoshop. So I'm going to take that down just a little bit more. And we are good to go. Mm, let's see here. About right there. So just play with all these tabs to see what works out for you. Sky local. I have no idea what that means, <laughs> but we're going to continue on. This is the most important part, whether you shot your background blurry or not, you can do a sky defocus. So we're going to defocus the sky. We're going to defocus it because I shot this with a 135, uh, 1.8 art lens. So I need the sky to be out of focus, just like my background. atmospheric haze we don't need that it's just gonna brighten up the image just a little bit that's not something that we really need now you can change the sky temperature and the sky exposure so you can make it darker you can make it lighter all in this panel and you can also edit the mask if you need to now up under here you got dramatic you can play with these tabs it's so many tabs in luminar 4 that you can play with to help you create better portraits or skies or whatever you're trying to do. So I don't like any of these. Um, let's see here. Film grain. No, we, I think we're good. So we're going to hit apply on this. I am good with that. And we're going to let it go back into Photoshop. So again, guys, if you would like to purchase Luminar 4, Please go into the description below. I'll have a link to it and you can go click on that link and get it from B&H and you can start creating great magic. This helps me help you bring more editing tutorials and different things that you need to learn. So we're back here in 
Photoshop. We're going to let it process. All right. So remember that background we made? We're going to turn it on and off to show you. Look at that. I mean, the sky was already nice. I could have brought it back, but it was there. But we have artifacts going around here. So what we're going to do is we're going to mask some of these off. So we're going to tidy up and clean this up a bit. So we're going to create a mask right here, a white mask. You want to make sure that you are painting with black. So grab your brush and make sure you're painting with black and we are good to go. So I'm going to hit X on my keyboard and I'm going to zoom all the way in to the trees. I'm going to turn my opacity up to about 70% and 100% uh, flow. So right now I am painting it off her skin uh, just in case it was on there and the effect was on her skin. So I'm just going to paint this off with a brush. We're using 70% opacity and 100% flow. So just go ahead and just paint it off. It doesn't have to be, you know, perfect because the mask was already done pretty well. Now I'm just going to lower my opacity down to 20 and I am going to work these edges out just like that gonna work them edges out now sometimes you might have to do clone stamp and that's perfectly fine but that's the reason why we made this background layer and we created this mask so we could come in here and fine tune our um yeah so we'll fine tune our selection and our filter okay that looks about right look at that man that is amazing wow that is how you do it you could take you could take the opacity down uh a little bit if you need to to kind of blend it in a little bit more and then if you're going to color grade after this you could just finish color grading it don't have to be as dark so you have full control over luminar 4 by doing this method in photoshop so we're going to leave it about 82 percent turn it on and off and man there you go so again guys if you like this video i definitely want you to get a thumbs up share it with your friends and hit that bell so you don't never miss another video from me and if you're not following me on instagram i'm gonna put my instagram link right now on the screen it is 924 photography and boom we flatten the layer and we save it back to lightroom and we are ready to continue on so again guys i'm gonna see y'all in my next video peace out